Hey everybody, it's Kit, and today I'm going to show you how to make peanut butter cookies. To make these cookies, you'll need one cup or two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of sugar, four cups of creamy peanut butter, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, three cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and optional Hershey Kisses to put right in the center. Okay, let's get started. I forgot to mention this in the previous clip, but you are also going to need two eggs to make these peanut butter cookies. Okay, so what I've done first is put my two sticks of unsalted butter and my vanilla in a large bowl, and I have my whisk right here. And I'm just going to continue to whisk my butter and my vanilla extract together until it's very light and fluffy, and I'll give you a visual once this is finished. Alright, so I've been beating my vanilla extract and butter together for a while now, so it's pretty light and fluffy. So I'm just going to scrape down the sides of my bowl to ensure that everything gets combined equally. And I'm just going to add in my half of a cup of brown sugar and my half of a cup of white sugar. And I'm just going to start um, mixing these together with a rubber spatula, but then I'll switch to a whisk so that they get so that they can get pretty light and fluffy. So just continue to do this until you notice that it is fluffier. All right, now that my butter and my sugar is well combined, I'm going to add in my two eggs. And I crack them in a separate bowl just so that if they're a bad egg, I won't get the shells into my batter. So you can just add these in all at once. And then just mix these in until it's completely combined. All right, now that my eggs are all mixed into my batter, I'm going to add my four cups of smooth peanut butter. Now, I'm going to add this in all at once. And I'm going to use a rubber spatula afterwards because it's really hard to use a whisk with this much peanut butter because it gets very thick and tough. But just, once you add this all in, start to fold in the peanut butter. And this will take a while, but just have patience with this step. So what I'm going to do as my final step is just add in my baking soda, my salt, and my flour, which I've whisked together in this small bowl so that they um, distribute evenly into the batter. And now I have this batter. It's pretty thick. It's kind of just the consistency of peanut butter, just a little lighter. So I'm going to add this in in maybe two variations and just fold it in. All right, I finished mixing my batter, and it looks like this. It's pretty standard cookie dough. So I'm just going to take my cookie scoop on a baking sheet, which I've lined with parchment paper, and just scoop a little bit of cookie dough onto the cookie sheet, and then smush it down with my hand a little bit. And then in the center, you can add a Hershey Kiss or a little bit of chocolate, or you can use a fork and make the signature lines. Here, I'll actually go get one. So just take a fork, press down one way, then press down the other. This is kind of the signature look for a peanut butter cookie. So just keep repeating this process and then stick them into an oven um, that is preheated at 350 degrees for about um, 15 to 20 minutes. Alright, so these are my finished plate of peanut butter cookies. They're really, really great because they like melt in your mouth and they're kind of crispy on the outside, but they're extremely soft on the inside. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and check out my channel for many more. Thanks! Bye!